Look, if you came here looking for a dirty Makarov, this is pretty much the best I can do. So, obviously, after seeing that, we're going to start today's gameplay with a, uh, a prayer for my salvation after, you know, cobbling that abomination together. Okay, so the story on this first kill. First, I sent a shotgun slug his way, went clean over his head, and then I... Tapped him with the pistol so many times I accidentally turned on pass-through mode because I kept my volume up too high. But I feel like, you know, fully accurately double-tapping that one kind of makes up for it. So I hadn't quite figured out that my volume was too high yet, and that's what was triggering pass-through. Can I get some Fs in the comment section for my sense of immersion? I heard this thing coming from a mile away, but it still managed to get led into me before I could actually reload. <laughs> Yeah, you picked the wrong day to wear orange, bud. This game really amazes me with the environmental storytelling. Uh, coming up is a quick, but fairly short example. Attention, please. The train departing from Platform 2 will be five hours service to Novaya Znamenka. For your own safety, please stand back from the platform edge. This is the best kind of note you can find. It was right about this moment I realized the possibilities for playing red light, green light with the shadow people. I really don't know what to tell you. I walked off the wrong section of the map and so popped back to near where I started. Look. I was gonna not mess with any of that nonsense going on right over there. But then I remembered this World War I story about a dog putting up with explosions and poison gas, and I figured, you know what, I'm kind of a dog myself. Let's fucking get it. Yeah, so I really thought I was gonna fall. Really thought that. I mean, we got poison gas, we have explosions, all sorts of bubbly things that, you know, want me dead. But, as they say, bullshit walks on a tightrope. I think I'm about to demonstrate that. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Okay. Alright, I think I got it. Hold, am I out of stamp? Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. That's right, I got your trinket, you fucking demon shack. What's up? I'll be honest, I'm probably going to end up building one of these map cases. I mean... It's a hell of a mechanic, but at the same time, in like real world, it would be pretty interesting to look at. Get it, get it, get it. Give me that gooey center. Hell yeah. Yeah, I was lucky to have spotted that one on the left. Watch, watch, watch. Boop. Yeah, that was just panic. I dumped that whole magazine. Sheer panic. Okay, look. Uh, I won't tell me that the gun is empty if you won't tell me that the gun is empty. Alright. Just keep a little secret. That way we don't have to deal with the fucking Makarov. Oh. You hairy little gremlins wanted a Makarov if you click the thumbnail. Well, you got the Makarov. I hope you're happy. You should have stayed on your fucking med, Squidward. Right. I think I can hear him up there. Sir, we've come to reach you about your car's extended warranty. Honestly, I didn't think I could climb the ladder like that. I was just too damn lazy to holster the pistol. And here we are back at the train car. Now, there isn't really any tasty loot in here, but uh, something interesting happened. I kind of figured I'd need to leave it in. The 
for a split second, I really thought I was about to get hit by a shadow train. Yeah, so door number two on the right is the one I actually went through the first time, and that's what spawned me on the other side. Okay, so I actually enter the next area of the game fairly shortly here. Um, not much has really gone on yet, but I'm going to cut to something you're going to get a kick out of. You know, I've been called a shit bird many times. Here's the shit was hitting the unstuck button, and here's the bird. Thanks for watching. Y'all take care. I'll see you on the next one.